Getting into Cyberpunk 2077 on Maximum Settings Cloud PC using the OpenStream software with Moonlight. This is their Tier 3 5700XT Ryzen 3900X build with 24GB of RAM and we've only recently got this game working on these VMs so I've been able to get in and start testing them out. We'll go into the settings here and put on the high preset, film grain off, and motion blur off. These are more of a personal preference. They can affect performance a little bit here and there, especially motion blur, but more of a personal choice there for all testing. Now, it's everything is gonna be running at 1440p, and we'll take a look at a lot of different areas of the game running here from uh, around the city, riding around on a motorcycle, um, doing a couple little missions, things like that. Give you a different view of how the game's running in a couple different areas especially harder to run areas with lots of population and cars and buildings draw distance and all that kind of stuff so as we come out here to the original part of the uh, where you come out of your apartment into the city you'll see typical here a lot of systems do dip here quite a bit and this is why i'm running pretty much on the high settings if you go to ultra you're going to dip below 30 and we'll take a look at that here in just a minute let's go ahead and take a walk around but this high preset uh, will get you really close to maintaining 40 to 50. You'll dip into the 30s, but if you wanted to run a locked 30, uh, this would be where you would want to go because it would leave you that headroom. And uh, you pretty much, from my experience spending time in here with this, uh, would be able to maintain that smooth 30 if you wanted to go that route. Otherwise, you could leave it unlocked and run um, 30 to 45 typically. So here in front of Tom's Diner, let's go ahead and switch things over to Ultra just to show you the difference. Now, as far as population in the world, I keep that set to high. We've got the 3900X. Yeah, it is uh, rendering the stream and all that kind of stuff, but uh, I just it makes a difference in the game, and I really don't want to turn that down. So here we are on Ultra. We're going to come down to 30, but watch when we go to walk around, uh, and things can get worse around the city on Ultra. You'll see dips here down under 30. So there's a 28. Now this may get better as they patch the game. They've announced that January and February should have some large patches. I'm sure some smaller ones will come out in between. They have a lot of CPU optimization to do. VM optimization, uh, 27 right there. Uh, lots of work to get this game running smoothly on a lot of different systems. So let's go ahead and switch things back over to my high preset that I've been running on. And we'll take another look at that. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to leave you guys here uh, with some gameplay that you can check out how the game's performing in multiple areas of the city doing a few different tasks. So here we go, back on high, walking around the same place. And like I said, this is where you can really start to maintain keeping above 30 FPS. Sorry for the clock speeds over in... MSI Afterburner for the 3900X that stopped reading on the VM as soon as we got this game working. So it's something I'm working on fixing, but it is running at a locked 4.1 gigahertz on the CPU. They do an all-core overclock on these systems, so it's sitting at an all-core overclock of 4.1 on the 3900X. All right, guys, I'm going to leave you with some gameplay here from the game, and I'll jump back in with you when we get to the end.
Hey, look. What now? Call for backup? Crack some heads open, track the bodies inside? Hey. Here you go. <laughs> this trouble? The net around me? The rail freight yard on Benita Street. The one hugging the city line. We'll meet there. See ya. All right, that's going to bring us to the end of Cyberpunk 2077, running on maximum settings through open stream and moonlight. Really great experience. I only had one time where the video hitched up for about three, four seconds, uh, the stream, and then continued on. Other than that, for this whole testing to get all this footage, it was about 45 minutes, and everything worked really, really well. So thanks a lot for coming and check this out. Hopefully it showed you Cyberpunk 2077 running on this Tier 3 build. Subscribe if you haven't. Thumbs up, ring the bell, comments, and all that. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.